Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today is December 15th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. San Francisco's Archbishop is gathering roses for the U.S. Speaker of the House. Catholics led by San Francisco Archbishop Salvatore Cardiglione gathered over 16,000 roses for pro-abortion Catholic Nancy Pelosi on Sunday, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The Benedict the 16th Institute sported a banner reading, quote, prayers for Pelosi, asking for her conversion to the gospel of life and renouncing her pro-death position. In Spain, a prelate is being suspended for attempting to marry a satanic author. On Saturday, the Diocese of Solsana announced former Bishop Javier Novell incurred his own suspension by trying to marry erotic novelist Silvia Caballol. Caballol is a divorcee writing pornographic novels with satanic overtones, with some restricted to those aged 18 or older. Novell resigned in August, claiming it was for strictly personal reasons. In the UK, British homosexuals are using in vitro fertilization to make genetically engineered children. Over the weekend, Scott Hutchison, Barry Druitt Barlow, and ex-partner Tony announced they will be listed as parents on the birth certificate after spending one million pounds to create triplets. In vitro fertilization is explicitly condemned by the Catholic Church, noting it often leads to several abortions and removes the unity of man and woman from procreation. In the U.S., the Supreme Court is siding with vaccine mandates. On Monday, justices decided to deny New York health care workers who sought a religious exemption from the abortion-tainted China virus jab. Since self-described Catholic Governor Kathy Hochul's mandate was issued in August, roughly 37,000 health care workers were forced to leave their jobs. Down in Florida, the Catholic Governor is accusing Joe Biden of mass human smuggling. On Monday, Ron DeSantis joined Fox News host Laura Ingram to discuss why he withheld $8 million to curb Biden from flying illegal aliens into his state. And we're gonna pass legislation that says if you are facilitating Biden's policies, which is effectively a mass human smuggling operation, uh, you are not gonna be eligible to do business with the state of Florida or other local governments. And we're gonna charge you restitution for each individual that you're bringing. And communist China is sending a Catholic media tycoon to prison for participating in a vigil. Last week, Jimmy Lai was sentenced to 13 months behind bars by CCP authorities for partaking in an unlawful assembly to remember the victims of the Tiananmen massacre. This 1989 Beijing protest drew international condemnation after Chinese military forces opened fire on anti-communist protesters like the famed Tank Man. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael gives an election update from Tucson, Arizona. God bless you.